Morning folks. Welcome to July 27th. Today is a Wednesday. And yes, I'm still at Miss Bramaka. One of the things I do while I'm out here is um, there's a few flea markets I like to go to. And um, I'm going to title this video The Wrong Way to Buy a Stone Knife and Arrowheads, or The Wrong Way to Collect. And I'm going to call it that because I bought this stuff at a flea market and I have no idea the backstory from it. The guy I got it from, I got all this stuff from, told me he bought it at a garage sale in um, Rhode Island. Now, I, you know, kept asking him questions and he didn't know any answers. So after I pressed him a bit and he didn't know the answers, we started talking price and he gave me a pretty good deal. I, I paid 15 bucks for all of this stuff. Now given the price, I'm going to assume that these are reproductions. I'm also going to assume that they're reproductions because of the um, of the condition they're in. If these were buried for a long time, I'm pretty sure that they would be fractured and messed up and so forth. But I don't know. I don't know anything about these things. My friend Calvin does. Calvin's Corner 72. But so what I'm doing is kind of making a video of these. And I'm gonna, hopefully he's gonna look at this video and tell me something I don't, I don't know. I kind of hope people aren't making reproductions. The other thing that I, I thought odd is if you're buying seven Indian relics, right? These three, and then I'll go through the others. What is the possibility of getting them all in this kind of condition? I mean, if somebody had a collection and one of them was in this condition, you would say, wow, that's really amazing. But all of them in this condition? Unless somebody went through the trouble of... Uh, they, they are made out of different materials, as you see. So, unless they were collected from different sources, I mean, they're, they're made out of, this is heavy, and these feel the weight they should be. They're not made out of plastic, they, they seem to be made out of stone. Just the tail end of them all look so similar. Anyway, 
just to give you an idea of the size, there's my thumb, so. Though my thumbs are bigger than most thumbs, there's my pinky. Though my pinky's bigger than most pinkies. Anyway, with this video, we'll see. Now, if they're real, once again, a lot, a lot is lost because I, I don't know, I don't know any of the story of these. Nothing other than they were bought at a garage sale on, um, on Rhode, here on Rhode Island, some somewhere. So I would consider this the wrong way to collect this kind of stuff. I would think you would want to get it from somewhere where you could get more of the story. This is sharp, by the way. It's very sharp. I really don't have any sunshine available, so it's kind of hard to show you the real detail. That's as much as I'm getting out of it. I guess that's helping. Anyway, my camera's starting to flash red. I mean, I'm just amazed. I think if it was real, that tip would be broken. Or, and all those tips. Anyway, folks, I want you all to have a great day. I want you all to keep your feet down, keep your head up, and have fun. Make sure you enjoy today and all the days in your lives. Thanks, folks. Take care now.